Hi, this is Rick Baxter again. In this segment, we're going to talk about opportunities, which is an extension of the basic contact management. But you do need to have what's called extended pack as part of your uh, NAV 2009 experience with the perpetual license. I want to be sure that you've got that, or else you will not have access to do what you see me do here. Okay, so let's talk about opportunities and what that brings to the table. Uh, I'm going to go into the software. We already sh showed you how we added Randall Johnson Company here, and Meg Johnson was my contact from the trade show. But I've gone into opportunities. So this is a choice right here, opportunities. And I did a create a new opportunity. So I use this choice here, create an opportunity, and put in this new opportunity line. You could have many opportunities with a given contact. So that's important to understand. This would be a list of all the potential op opportunities that you've got pending. Okay, in my case, it's just one. And in the example I've got here is install new edging and stripes in their parking lot kind of thing. In fact, let me just open up. I'm right-clicking, open up this opportunity. So it's install stripes in their, uh, their parking lot. Now, a lot of information about an opportunity. This is what the really strong part of the system is. So an opportunity has comments. So you can have comments about that opportunity. The opportunity can have to-dos. So you can have a, a whole series of to-dos associated with the opportunity. Okay, So that's in there as well. And then you also have what are called your lines for this opportunity. This is very important down here. This is where you actually start to assign and um, create values for these opportunities based on the sales cycle that you're in. In fact, when you set up a new opportunity, you have the option to use a series of different sales cycles. It kind of builds in an own, its own workflow right within the software. And you'll see, let me just bring up that, um, the, you can see it here. If I just print the details, this is the pending for Opportunity 01. This is the one I'm creating here. Let me just bring this up on your screen, get this a little bigger. So here's stage one. The initial view, which is verify the quality of the opportunity, identify the key persons. So these are the steps that you kind of do, and it's kind of telling you this is what we need to do to do these things. And then uh, stage two is qualification stage, and we estimate the customer's needs, send letter of introductions, follow up on introduction letter, and verify change the um, or any changes to the customer's need. So this is pre predefined. I'm not going to go through that setup, but I want you to understand these steps are predefined when you build out your workflow of how you want to go through your sales cycle with the um, with each of your opportunities. Then there's a presentation step, make appointments, confirm, book the necessary equipment. You know, kind of go through the presentation and then a proposal step. That's step number four in my, at least this sample. You draft a proposal, arrange a date for the present the proposal, and the last step is the signing of the contract. So you set up a, a time to do that with the customer and get the contracts signed. So this is what a lot of people refer to as workflow. It comes in all automatically. You set up uh, the se this sequence of events and then um, when you add the opportunity, you tell it what sales cycle that you want to use, and it drops this in there for you, again, all automatically. So, and by the way, these opportunities do have values to them, so you do assign what the potential value is and what percent complete you are and your chance of uh, closing this. So it assigns a probability. Uh, based on these factors of closing the deal. In this case, it's only at 6%. You'll see that up here in the fact box that the estimated value is 50,000 on this uh, potential opportunity. And our chance of success is at 10%. We uh, All this information here is available right here for a current value of $3,000. So that's the potential at this stage. This, by the way, also shows up on the sales manager's role center because the sales manager, I'm basically, and this is a really important point, I am 
right now, if I go back to the role center, I'm in this as the salesperson role center. So this is for each individual, and this is where I'm setting up basically my opportunities, which would also show up here in, in the list. I can see my open opportunities, and we should see that. Uh, so this is the list of the work that's uh, potential for um, uh, in in my book of basically book of business so that's uh, that's a little kind of overview of basically starting with your contacts going in and setting up your opportunities and then knowing what those values are and of course there's a series of reports that print out the values across all opportunities total it up uh, very nice um, what most people would need in a CRM system and tracking your open and a closed, certainly closed opportunities as well. So that's uh, it's a little overview of the CRM for Dynamics NAV 2013. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm.